Good day everyone. We have a new video today for Science Grade 6, Quarter 1, Module 1, Lesson Number 4, Solutions and Their Characteristics. So brace yourselves at pag-aaralan na natin ngayon ano ba ang solutions at ano yung characteristics nito. But again, before ang lahat, ay magbibigay muna tayo ng credits sa Department of Education as the sole publisher of this module, particularly to our Deputy Secretary, Ma'am Lenor Magtolis Briones, and also to the Undersecretary, Sir Dado M. San Antonio, and also to the development team of this module, to the authors, Ma'am Nancy N. Torres, Judy C. Villanueva, Jamaica B. Barsenal, and Julimar D. Lestemoso. And also to the editor, to the reviewers, to the illustrators, to the layout artist, to the graphic artist, and to the management team, thank you so much for having this module so that all the learners can learn in the entire Philippines. Okay, after you're going to learn this module, you'll be learning the appearance and uses of solutions. So, makikita mo ano ba yung iba't ibang klase ng solution at ano ba yung iba't ibang gamit ng mga solutions. And after going through this module again, you're expected to be able to describe the appearance and uses of solutions. Dahil aalamin natin yung iba't ibang appearance, yung makikita natin solutions at ano yung gamit nila, ikaw mismo ay marunong kang mag-describe kung paano natin sila gamitin at ano yung paano natin sila makikita after learning this module. But before that, I would like to check first your knowledge if you have background knowledge about our topic this day. So for numbers one to five, choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer using your science journal or your science notebook. For number one, what is the universal solvent? Is it A, water, B, vinegar, C, acetone, D, soy sauce? For number two, what is a solution? Is it A, it is a homogeneous mixture in which particles are evenly distributed. B, it is a heterogeneous mixture in which particles are evenly distributed. C, it has a larger particle that is visible to the naked eyes. Or D, it has a particle that settle out when left undisturbed. For number three, what is being dissolved in a solution? A. Solute, B. Solvent, C. Precipitate, D. Water. For number four, the blank is the one doing the dissolving. A. Solute, B. Solvent, C. Precipitate, D. Water. For number five, the amount of solute that can be dissolved by a solvent is defined as blank. A. Solubility, B. Saturated, C. Unsaturated, or D. Supersaturated. Para sa number 6 to 10, isulat natin ang true if the statement is correct at false naman if ang statement ay wrong. Number 6. Particles in a solution are not visible to the naked eye. Kung totoo, isulat ang true. Kung hindi naman totoo, ay isulat ang false. Number seven, a solution may exist in any phase. Number eight, air is an example of a gaseous solution. Nine, a solution consists of a heterogeneous mixture. Number ten, a simple solution is basically two substances that are evenly mixed together. Write true if the statement is correct and write false if the statement is wrong. Now, let's proceed to our lesson this day. So, lesson 4 of the module 1 is the solutions and their characteristics. So, pag-aaralan natin ano ba yung solution. Most of the household materials found at home like soda, vinegar, and wine are examples of solutions. So, halos lahat na makikita natin ng mga materyales sa ating bahay ay gawa sa solution or example ng isang solution. Example, vinegar, toyo, wine, and, every, and everything na makikita natin dyan or ibang mga bagay na makita natin dyan ay isang solution. 
Now, ano ba ang solution? Ang solution might exist in liquid, solid, or gas depending on the state of its solvent. So, pag sinabi natin solution, pwede siyang maging liquid, pwede siyang maging solid, or pwede siyang maging depend or gas. Magdepende siya kung ano ba ang phase ng kanyang solvent or yung tumutunaw. Uulitin ko, yung solvent siya yung material na tumutunaw. So, kung ang solvent ay liquid, so ang solution natin ay pwede ding maging liquid, and so on. Air is an example of a gaseous solution, and its solvent is nitrogen gas. So, ang ating hangin na makikita, ang lahat ng air na makita natin sa buong mundo, ay example siya ng solution. Ang phase niya ay gas. So, ang, ang solvent niya ay ang nitrogen gas. Steel is a solid solution. Okay. Its solvent is iron and the solute is carbon. So, pag pinaghalo natin si iron at si carbon, matutunaw si carbon ni iron. Ang resulta, magiging steel siya, magiging bakal siya. So, solid siya. Vinegar is a solution that forms from acetic acid and water. So, pag pinagsama natin si acetic acid at si water, magiging vinegar siya. So, ibig sabihin ng ni vinegar, isa siyang... Isa siyang pinaghalo na solution mula sa acetic acid at mula sa water. These are few examples of the solution we encounter every day. So, yung na nabanggit natin ay iilan lamang sa mga solution na nakikita at ginagamit natin halos araw-araw. Okay, look at your module now in under what's in part. So, identify the solvent and the solute in the following mixtures. Answer it using a separate sheet of paper or answer it in your notebook to be submitted to your teacher. So, ito na. I-identify mo daw yung solvent at ang solute. Ano ba yung solvent? Ito siya yung tumutunaw. Ano ba yung solute? Ito siya ang tinutunaw. So, sa mga solution na makikita natin na mababasa natin ngayon, kailangan yung pangalanan or identify nyo sino si solvent na tumutunaw at sino si solute na tinutunaw. Number one, cold iced tea. Sino naka-drink na ng cold iced tea? Sino kaya si solvent? Sino kaya si solute? Number two, hot coffee. Number three, salt water. Number four, carbonated beverages. Number five, lemonade. Number six, wine. Number seven, steel. Number eight, detergent solution. Number nine, orange juice. Number ten, vinegar. Okay, for the next activity under what's new part of your module, you have to write examples of common materials that can be added in the given solvent to form a solution and then answer the questions below. Do it in a separate sheet of paper. Okay, may binigay dito na solvent at ang solvent or ang tumutunaw ay water. Now, mag-isip kayo ng mga materials na pwedeng tunawin ni water. So, merong lima dyan. Kailangan nyo mag-isip ng limang mga materials na posibleng matunaw ni water. At sagutan natin ang mga tanong. This, these are the questions. Number one, what kind of mixture is it? Anong klaseng mixture ang inyong na resulta ng water plus yung na-answer na nyo na pwede niyang tunawin? Anong mixture yon? Number two, how many phases can you see when you mix the given solute to the solvent? How many phases? Ilang phase ba ang makikita ninyo pag pinaghalo nyo si water at yung solute na inyong isasagot? Pag sinabing how many phases, ilang phase siya? Solid, maging liquid siya, or maging gas siya? Yun, yun ang kailangan nyong sagutin. So, mag-isip kayo ng lima at sagutin nyo din ng paulit-ulit ang tanong sa lima na naisip ninyo. So, ngayon, ano ba ang solution? So, when we say solution, ang meaning nito, a solution is a homogeneous mixture of one or more solutes dissolved in a solvent. So, pag sinabi natin hom homogeneous, isa na lang. So, dating dalawa, pinaghalo mo siya, naging isa na lang. Mixture. So, resulta siya sa pinaghalo mong mga solute sa mga solvent. So, ang solvent at saka solute magiging solution. There are many kinds of solution. It exists in any phase. 
Note that the solute is a substance that dissolved in the solvent. Okay, kailangan nating tandaan na si solute ay ang substance na natunaw or natutunaw or matutunaw ng isang solvent. Ang tumutunaw ay ang solvent, samantalang si solute ang natutunaw ni solvent. For example, in a saline solution, the salt is the solute dissolved in water as the solvent. So sa saline solution, si salt ang naging solute at natunaw siya ni water. At si water, dahil tumunaw siya kay salt, siya ang tinawag na solvent. Even if it is made of different phases, if the result exists of a single phase, it is a solution. The solution particles cannot be seen by our naked eye. So pag pinaghalo mo na si, si, si salt at saka si water, hindi mo na makikita na meron pa pala siyang salt. So hindi na natin makikita gamit ang ating mga mata kasi natutunaw na siya. It does not allow beams of light to scatter. And the solute for, from a solution cannot be separated by filtration. So, kung natunaw na yung solute, example, yung salt, natunaw na siya sa water, hindi na natin siya maibabalik sa dating salt sa pamamagitan ng filtration. So, pagsasala, wala ng salt. Kung salain mo man yung water na natunaw ang salt, hindi mo na masasala ang salt. Okay, the picture below shows the components of solution. So, maipapakita akong picture sa inyo. So, ito na yung example kanina na sinabi dyan sa line solution. So, ang solute ay ang salt. Ang solvent ay ang water. Pag pinaghalo natin silang dalawa, ang tawag sa kanila ay solution. At hindi na natin makikita si salt sa solution kasi natunaw na siya ni solvent na si water. What's more? Activity 1. Look at the words in the box. Choose and combine two or more words to form a solution. Write your answer using your science journal or your notebook. Okay, merong box dyan at sa loob ng box ay may sampung mga words. Maghanap kayo ng isa o dalawa dyan na kailangan mong i-combine para makabuo ng solution. Tingnan natin. Ito yung mga words. Water, sugar, salt, carbon dioxide, gas, acetic acid, Copper, zinc, silver, and mercury. Okay, based on that words, ay maghanap kayo ng is dalawa o maraming pwede mong makumbine para makabuo ng solution. So, isulat ninyo ang inyong sagot sa inyong mga notebook. For the activity number two, Answer this question. How do you describe a solution? So, paano mo ngayon ide-describe ang solution? List down your answers on your notebook. So, depending na ngayon kung paano siya i-describe, isulat mo yung sagot mo sa inyong notebook. Okay? Okay, dahil nalaman natin na si solvent at saka si solute pag pinaghalo mo ay maging solution, now you have to create a sort of infomercial featuring a solution you created or designed. Say a few statements about it. Ano ba yung infomercial? Kung nakikita niyo yung mga advertisements sa TV at naririnig niyo ang mga advertisements sa radyo, so ganyan din ang gawin niyo. Gumawa kayo ng isang advertisement na nagbibigay ng informasyon tungkol sa solution na napili mo. So maghanap ka ng solution na napili mo, gawan mo to ng infomercial or advertisement na merong informasyon. Kaya Kaya yan. What you can do, based on the illustration below, describe what a solution is. Okay, so uh, may nakita tayong illustration below na a mixture of blue lemonade powder and water. So pag pinaghalo mo si blue lemonade powder at si water, e describe mo ngayon kung ano yung solution na makikita natin. So number two, how does solution appear? Paano natin Paano makikita natin sa solution? So, sagutin nyo yan sa inyong mga notebook. Okay, after doing all the activities, after answering all the questions, after learning na si solution ay isang homogeneous mixture, sagutan na natin ngayon yung mga katanungan. Choose the letter of the correct answer. 
do it in your science journal or in your notebook. So I'll be reading to you the questions. Number one, what type of mixture is a solution? A, heterogeneous, B, homogeneous, C, immiscible, or D, miscible. Number two, which of the following is not a characteristics of a solution? A, it is a uniform mixture. B, it will scatter a beam of light. C, it is stable over time. Letter D, the solute and solvent cannot be distinguished by the naked eye. Answer. Number three, what is the substance that is being dissolved in a solution? A, solute. B, mixture. C, solvent. D, concentrator. Number four, what is the substance that dissolves the other substance in a solution? A, solute. B, mixture. C, solvent. Or D, concentrator. Number five, in a salt water solution, what substance is considered the solvent? A. Salt B. Water C. Both are solvents D. Neither substance is a solvent Answer Number 6. What is not an example of a solution? A. Acetic acid and water B. Soil and water B. Sugar and water C. Or D. Iron and carbon Number 7. Which of the following is an example of a solid solution? A. Carbonated water. B. Steel. C. Oil and water. D. Toothpaste. Number 8. Which of the following is an example of a gas solution? A. Air. B. Oxygen. C. Carbon dioxide. Or D. Brass. Answer. For question number 9, which of the following will dissolve in water? A. Oil B. Salt C. Gasoline D. Sand Number 10, which of these will not form a solution? A. Preparing syrup B. Preparing a cup of coffee C. Ice and water D. Stirring of sugar in water Answer for your additional activities, do the following and list down your answer in your notebook or in your science journal. Number one, prepare a beverage using powdered juice and observe its appearance. Okay, magtimpla ka daw ng inumin gamit ang powdered juice at i-observe mo paano yung nakita mo after mong timplahin ito. Number two, list down what you observed in the mixture. So, ililista mo ngayon ano yung na-observe mo during your mixing moment or in the mixture. 